Something that's been on my bucket list for years was to see the HES telescope in person, so to speak. As a technician at an astronomical observatory for more than 35 years, I've always only seen telescopes inside domes to protect them from the elements, so it's hard to imagine that a telescope just standing out in the open. During November 2023, I was part of a team to assess the mothballed Rotsi telescope in Namibia. Somewhere I was not paying attention because only after getting there did it dawn on to me that the Rotsi is on the same site as Hess. What a pleasant surprise. Unfortunately, the timing of the trip was bad because it was near full moon and the start of their rainy season. Hess only operates while the moon is below the horizon. But the staff there was fantastic because on our first night there, they invited us over and gave us a show by specially putting the telescopes through its paces for us. It was quite dark already, so unfortunately not possible to take video. But with permission from the Hess people, I was allowed to walk around and take a series of long exposure night pictures from different angles, some of the telescopes in action. Because of its huge size, the Hess telescopes are visible from far away and being so eye-catching, I could not help photographing them time after time from different angles and under different lighting conditions. Being the start of the rainy season, thunderclouds gathered most afternoons, sometimes followed by rain. HES consists of five telescopes. Four with mirrors 12 meter in diameter, arranged in a square with 120 meter sides, and one larger telescope with a 28 meter mirror located in the center of the array. The small 12 meter diameter dishes are made of, of 382 round mirror facets of 60 centimeter diameter, made of aluminized glass with a quartz overcoat, yielding a total mirror area of 108 square meters per telescope. It is amazing to think that one of these are already bigger than the salt telescope's mirror. The dish dimensions of the big telescope is 32.6 meters by 24.3, which is equivalent to a 28 meter circular dish, weighing in at 580 tons. The total area is 614 square meters, made up of 875 hexagonal facets of 90 centimeter each. All the mirrors are flat, fitted with fine motion motors so that they can be very precisely aligned. The four smaller telescopes were operational by 2004 and the big one by mid-2012. The mirrors are replaced every few years with a spare set while the dirty set is refurbished. The weight per facet of the 28 meter telescope is approximately 25 kg which is just manageable by one person when they are handled by hand. To replace a mirror, two cherry pickers are available on site a big one which can reach all the way to the top of the 28 meter dish as well as a smaller one to get into tight corners. HES explores the sky detecting very high energy gamma rays. The acronym stands for High Energy Stereoscopic System and honors the 1936 Nobel Prize winner Victor Hess for his discovery of cosmic rays in 1912. When gamma rays collide with the nuclei in Earth's atmosphere a cascade of secondary particles known as an air shower results. Because the air shower particles move faster than the speed of light in air, they produce a flash of faint blue photons called Cherenkov light detected by the Hess telescopes. Each Cherenkov light flash only lasts a few nanoseconds. The stereo part in the name is because Hess employs a stereoscopic reconstruction of air showers to determine their direction in space. The image obtained with a telescope shows the track of the air shower, which points back to the celestial object where the incident gamma rays originated. The intensity of the image is related to the energy of the gamma ray. The large telescope was added at the center of the array to increase the energy coverage, sensitivity and angular resolution of the instrument. The mirrors of HES telescopes are focused for an object distance of about 10 kilometers, corresponding to the typical distance of an air shower from the ground. Each pixel of the HES cameras is a filter multiplier tube or PMT. Although PMTs are older technology, they are still the best choice because modern detectors are not fast enough and not sensitive to the blue light of this phenomena. The small dishes have 960 PMTs each, 
and 2048 in the case of the 28 meter camera. The latter camera weighs 2.8 tons. When the camera was upgraded a few years ago, the visiting team selectively removed some PMTs to be reused as spares, but left an interesting surprise for the locals. All in all, a very memorable trip.